When I started painting on the streets, one of the reasons it really enthralled me was this kind of energy on the streets in this country. You just get into these spaces that you wouldn't necessarily spend days and days on the street corner. You really learn so much about the different layers. The powerful thing about Warwick Triangle is that it's a space that's surviving on informal trade and that's something that we need to protect and actually value. When you first drive through there, it seems so chaotic and really intense and that, and it is, but when you spend a few days there, you realize that there's a lot of systems in place. For instance, there's a group of guys who stand right where all the taxis turn, and it looks like they're like right in front of the cars. Actually, they're selling cigarettes to the taxi drivers. I couldn't come in and paint what I want to paint, like my own fantasies. It needed to be something that's very specifically relevant to the people who are living and working here, because it really belongs to them. Madlamini is quite outspoken. The market and the traders and the whole situation there is her life. And she's a very strong, wise woman. Tolani is working at the top in the disused freeways where all the Sangomas are working. Mr. Singh is much quieter, lovely, gentle soul. Mambuto, she's working in the lime and pepper market. She's also very quiet, doesn't speak any English, just very kind of passive, very intriguing character. I'm quite taken by her. She sleeps under the bridge at night. There's something so beautiful about her. I really hope I can do justice. I've brought in some of the stowaway writing on one of the walls, and it's something that I'm quite fascinated about. These guys who are sleeping under bridges and they paint these beautiful images of ships and they have these poems and a lot of scrawlings on the wall. And you see it everywhere. So I want to put that in the work. So it's this kind of mix of something very aesthetically pleasing and something that's quite grimy and gritty and also perhaps challenging a bit some of these ideas of what's acceptable, what's not, and whose space is this? Does it belong to the city? Does it belong to the people who are there? More than 30 years I've been here. Oh, this is a nice, nice place because we can feed our children, we can make our children grow up with this place. The night must come fast. Then it will be the next morning. Then I wake up, I know that I'm going to start there over the bridge to see the pictures. One of the beauties of public art is that it is communicating on this kind of one-on-one -on -one basis from the artist to the onlooker. And I think it brings a bit of soul back to a city. I feel very, very excited about it because I didn't think it would come nice like that. That's why I'm excited. Hey, my children, you're very happy you look at me. That side, hey, my father's there. Hey, 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 it's too much happy, it's too much, too much, too much, too much happy. <laughs>